What's going on guys, it's Jen from WearTestis.com here with a performance review of the Under Armour Scorpio. So when past Under Armour running models such as the Spine Clutch and the Speedform Apollo, traction has felt like an afterthought, but all that's changed with the Scorpio. And not only does it perform better, but it lasts longer as well. No matter what surface you may come across while you're running in the Under Armour Scorpio, the traction is going to have you covered no matter what. Wet, grass, trail, road, it's gonna work and it's gonna work for a long time. It's great to see Under Armour refining things with all of their models because like I said earlier, traction did feel like an afterthought on their running shoes. So there are definitely runners who like to really feel the ground when they run. They like a low profile minimalistic cushion setup, but at the same time, there's runners who really wanna feel their cushion and that's exactly what you're gonna get in the Under Armour Scorpio. Using full length injected Micro G foam coupled with the full length TPU shake gives you really good spring back and extra pep in your step. You're really gonna feel the Micro G and experience high energy return in your strides. Also, the Scorpio comes with the 4D foam insole. What this does, it makes a personalized custom fit to any foot shape or size and it really gives you that personalized fit for that extra layer of comfort. So again, if you're looking for a minimalistic, Nike free-ish type cushion setup, you're not gonna get that with the Under Armour Scorpio. But if you do like to feel your cushion, you like impact protection, spring back and energy return, these got you covered right here. So the PBAX plate featured on the Under Armour Scorpio gives you lightweight structural support, but at the same time lets your foot flex without any distraction. So these anatomically placed flex really offer the user a smooth transition, but with its cleat inspired technology, some may find the stability on the Scorpio a little bit underwhelming. More on that in the support section. So on the Scorpio, we have a mesh upper that's a little bit breathable, but most of your ventilation is gonna be coming out of this tongue, which is extremely well ventilated. You can't see it here because it's black, but take my word for it. It's very breathable, which is good because heat rises, so heat's gonna come right through there, and your foot's not gonna be hot whatsoever. As far as the mesh upper, it fits real nicely. It's very pliable. It's not gonna get in your way at all. Also, these fuse-like overlays offer structural support for lateral movements, which doesn't really come in handy more on that in the support section but it's nice that it's there and it also offers a little bit extra durability you're gonna experience no loose ends with the fit on the unarmored Scorpio really wraps around your foot nicely everything from the lacing system to the mesh upper give you really good lockdown fit but perhaps it may give you too much of a good lockdown fit the unarmored Scorpio is an extremely narrow model that wide footers may find a little bit restrictive and uncomfortable but if you don't have this problem the Under Armour Scorpio fits like a glove. And as usual, Under Armour hooks it up really nice with the molded tongue that really wraps around the front of your ankle and doesn't get in your way whatsoever during your run. So while going up half a size may be an option for wide footers, you're doing that at the risk of having a lot of extra toe space, which is okay for a running shoe, but not really ideal if you're seeking the perfect fit. So wide footers, you might as well go somewhere else, but everyone else, the fit is exceptional. So stability is the biggest issue on the Under Armour Scorpio. I wouldn't recommend any high intensity training that involves a lot of lateral movements because there just isn't enough support features on the Scorpio for it to perform well in these situations. There's no outrigger and the overall clean inspired construction of the Scorpio just isn't really well suited for that type of situation. When you're using the Scorpio, you're gonna feel a little bit unstable, kinda like how the spring blade from Adidas feels. It's not that crazy, but you do get the feel of you're walking on a tightrope. This is okay when you're moving forwards and backwards on your runs but if you're training running through cones the Scorpio just isn't good at that it's a shame because this heel cup would have worked to help keep your foot stay on the foot bed but again you're just not gonna want to be involved in these types of movements while wearing the Scorpio so overall the Under Armour Scorpio works perfectly fine in the right situation but just doesn't have enough versatility to be recommended as a cross training option the injected micro G foam cushion setup is amazing especially for those people who really like to feel their cushioning and a lot Lockdown and fit are great just as long as you don't have a wide foot. But again, the stability on the Scorpio just isn't good enough to recommend for a variety of activities. So your best bet is sticking to running in these. And boy, do they run well. Anyways guys, I hope I helped you guys out with the Under Armour Scorpio. If I left anything out or you have any questions as far as performance go for this model, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer. You can pick these up at Finish Line right now in a lot of different colorways. And in my opinion, they look great as well. You definitely will be breaking necks in these. So head over to weartwisters.com for the full written in-depth review. Till next time guys, peace.